Hello everyone, it's Dana from the Monroe County Public Library and I'm here to share some stories and songs with you today all about dressing up and getting dressed. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right everybody, let's go ahead and get started. I have some fun books to share with you, with you today. My first book is called Calling Dr. Jaja. It's fun to play dress up and sometimes it's fun to dress up and pretend that you're a doctor. Calling Dr. Zaza. Oh, there's her medical bag. I think she's going to go see some of her patients today. Zaza wants to play, but her animal friends don't feel well. Calling Dr. Zaza! Mm. What do you think might be wrong with them? Does Rosie have an earache? Zaza takes a look in Rosie's ear. Rosie will feel better soon. Yeah, she's got something there to look inside to see if maybe Rosie has an ear infection. Time to listen to Bobby's heart. Boom, 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 boom. What a beautiful sound. Bobby's heart sounds perfect. She's got her stethoscope, doesn't she? George Giraffe has a sore throat. Say, ah, says Zaza. George opens his mouth and Zara takes a, Zaza takes a look inside. Oh, I wonder what she found. I hope George feels better very soon. Pinky feels a little warm. Uh-oh, does she have a fever? No, her temperature's just right. What about Mo? Mo has a scratch on his head. Zaza puts a bandage on it. All better. Sometimes it feels good to have a bandage, doesn't it? Yeah, makes you feel better. But guess what? All the other animals want bandages too. Hmm, do you think she'll have enough? Let's find out. What a busy day. All of Zaza's animals' friends feel much better. They just need one more thing, a big kiss from Dr. Zaza. Now everyone is ready to play. Look at all of those bandages. They're all over the place, aren't they? It's a good thing she had a lot. Yeah, that was called Calling Dr. Zaza. I like that one. Well, I have a fun game for you today. This is all about pockets. Now, sometimes you have clothes that have pockets and sometimes you don't. But today I have four pockets. I have green pockets, a light blue pocket, a purple pocket, that's fun to say, purple pocket, and a dark blue pocket. All right, are you ready to play my game? Okay, I want to know, can you guess what's in the pocket? In this pocket is something that I use to color pictures. What do you think it might be? Well, if you guessed a crayon, you were right. In this pocket, I have something that helps me see in the dark. What do you use to see in the dark? It's not a candle. It's a flashlight. 
yeah, a flashlight. All right. In this pocket, it's something I brought from outside and it's very cold. And just like the book, The Snowy Day, it might melt in my pocket. Did you guess what it was? Did you guess it was a snowball? That's right, that's what it is. Okay, last one. In this pocket is something that I use to open doors. Maybe I use it to open a car door. Maybe I use it to open the door to the place where I live. What do you think it might be? Well, if you guessed that it was a key, you were right. Yeah, so let's go back over this and see what we had. We had a crayon, a flashlight, that's right, a snowball, and a key. Yeah, very good. All right, well, I'm going to read you another book. This one's called, This is Not My Hat. Sometimes it's fun to play dress up with hats. But you probably shouldn't play dress up with other people's hats. This is not my hat. This hat is not mine. I just stole it. He stole that hat. not a good idea to steal things. I stole it from a big fish. That fish is a lot bigger than the fish who stole the hat. He was asleep when I did it. Does that make it right? I don't think so either. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. Hmm. Do you think he's going to get away with stealing this hat? What do you think? And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. What do you think? Looks to me like he's looking up. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know that it's me who took it. Still, does that make it okay? I don't think that makes it okay. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I'm going. But I will tell you where I'm going. I'm going to where the plants grow, big and tall and close together. It's very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. He seems pretty confident that no one's going to find him. Meaning, he thinks no one's going to find him. There is someone who saw me already. But he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. Who did he see? Yeah, he saw the crab. So I'm not worried about that. Uh-oh. But what happened? Yep. I think the crab is telling the big fish where the little fish went. That's what it looks like anyway, doesn't it? I know it's wrong to steal a hat. 
I know it does not belong to me, but I'm going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. Does that make it okay? What do you think? Maybe that big fish liked having a little hat. And look, I made it! Where the plants are big and tall and close together. I knew I was going to make it. Hmm. Who's that? Nobody will ever find me. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Trouble with my pages here. There he is. Can you find him? Well, I don't think I can see him. I think he's in all of those plants. It is a pretty good hiding place. Looks like he's leaving. So what's he got on his head? I think he got his hat back. And that was called, This Is Not My Hat. All right, well, we played the pocket game. And now, I want to sing you a song. Are you ready? This one is called Mary Wore Her Red Dress. And here is Mary right here. And it looks like Mary might need some clothes, right? All right, well, let's go ahead and sing this song. Mary wore her yellow shirt, yellow shirt, yellow shirt. Mary wore her yellow shirt all day long. Mary wore her red dress, red dress, red dress. Mary wore her red dress all day long. Just like that. What do we got here? Mary wore her green hat, green hat, green hat. Mary wore her green hat all day long. Uh-oh, looks like her feet might get cold. So, Mary wore her blue shoes, blue shoes blue shoes. Mary wore her blue shoes all day long. One shoe. Two shoes. Yeah. And then when Mary went out, did all the things she was going to do that day, she came home and she got ready for bed and Mary took off her blue shoes. One at a time. And then Mary took off her green hat. And then Mary took off her red dress. And lastly, Mary took off her yellow shirt.
and then she was ready for bed. That's all the time I have for us today, so I'm going to go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone, and stay safe and healthy out there.